Yo, what's up guys? Cobes here from PFT. Uh, during this video, I'm going to be talking to you about values. Uh, so I get asked all the time how I stay in shape whilst I'm traveling. So right now I'm three weeks into a six week trip. Uh, I've been to Japan, I went snowboarding. Uh, I went to Bali, spent some time with some friends over there. I'm currently in my mum's house in New South Wales, Australia. And this weekend I'm heading up to Byron Bay for a yoga course. So I'll be on that yoga course for about two weeks before I road trip back down and go back to Thailand. So during this time, I've only trained a couple times, three times as a matter of fact. So, you know, when I'm on holidays, my values change. And this is something that you need to be aware of. There's going to be times in your life where yes, health and fitness is very important and training is very important. For me, training makes me feel good. Um, you know, releases the endorphins, gets me set up for the day ahead. Um, and I just enjoy the challenge. I enjoy training and I enjoy the feeling that it leaves me with. I definitely feel a lot sharper after I train. I can notice a difference when I don't train. So um, yes, it's very important to me. And for the most part, when I'm at home and I'm set in a routine schedule, I train five to six times a week. But now I'm on holidays, uh, that value has decreased. So it's been replaced with spending time with, with friends and family. Uh, when I was in Japan, I was catching up with two of my mates. We were out snowboarding for the most part throughout the entire day. Uh, you know, that's obviously very active, but I wouldn't consider that training. So by the time I finished that, you know, we'd hang around, we'd talk shit, we'd get a feed, we'd have a couple of beers. You know, that was important to me. That was more important to me than training time. Uh, even when I was in Bali, I trained twice while I was there for about four or five days. And again, um, you know, I was, I was around new people, I was socializing, I was spending time with friends and uh, meeting new people. So that was more important to me than getting that training time in. I'm now in my mum's place. Uh, I've done, I've been here for a couple of days and I've trained once. I'm probably going to train again today and probably tomorrow um, before I start my road trip up to Byron Bay. So, you know, again, I'm spending time with my mum, spending time with my family. But my mom actually enjoys training as well. So when she goes to the gym, I just tag along and go with her. Whilst I'm on the yoga course, that's not going to be a priority for me. The priority is going to be studying. The priority is going to be learning, immersing myself in, uh, you know, the education. So that's going to take precedence over my training, knowing that, you know, I'm going to probably lose a little bit of muscle. I left Thailand weighing probably 81, 82 kilos. I'm down to about 78 and a half kilos. So I've definitely lost a little bit of muscle, but I'm okay with that because Again, it's not a priority for me. And I know that muscle memory, as soon as I get back into training, I'll, I'll rebuild everything quite quickly. So last year I went home for a month. I didn't train. Uh, I had full intentions of training. I did a road trip from Sydney up to Brisbane, Anzac Day, road trip back down, had my brother's wedding, etc. So I was on the road for basically a month and you know, I was spending time with friends and family and I was planning on training, but by the time I, you know, caught up with my friends and my family and uh, drove and things like that, I really just couldn't be bothered and it wasn't really a priority for me. So during that time, I did lose a couple of kilos. Whenever I don't train, I do lose a couple of kilos. Plus, I wasn't eating great. I was drinking. I was partying with my friends. I was socializing. My sleep patterns were shit. So, you know, I lost a couple of kilos there. But once I get back, got back to Thailand, got back into my training um, or my, my life routine, uh, and got back into a consistent training regime, then those gains came straight back within, you know, 10 days to two weeks, and I was right back to where I was when I when I left. So it's important to understand that your value is going to change over time, and you need to uh, adjust your expectations along with your commitment. So if you can't commit to doing anything, uh, you know, making gains, then, you know, you need to adjust your expectations. So an example of this is if I have... A high commitment level that means that you know I'm really tracking my food I'm being consistent with my training I'm not drinking I'm making sure that I'm drinking plenty of water getting sunshine plenty of good quality sleep etc then I can expect to make gains if you know I'm still training and I'm still looking after myself but I get a little bit looser and I want to have a couple of drinks on the weekend or want to go for a pizza midweek or eat ice cream or you know socialize a little bit more then I'm looking to maintain uh, and if, you know, if an example of minimizing, um, minimizing the damage, which is what I'm doing right now, I'm away for six weeks. I'm not expecting to make gains. 
you know, I'm socializing, I'm spending time with friends and family, so that's more important to me right now. So right now it's literally just about minimizing the damage and going, right, I can eat, I can drink, I can, you know, stay out late and um, have a little bit less quality sleep, but I'm not expecting to make any gains. I understand that I'm go probably going to go backwards a little bit, but I'm okay with that, knowing that once I get back to Thailand, I get back into a solid regime, then I'm going to, you know, then I'm going to go back into a gain mentality. So it's important to assess where you're at, have a look at what's going on in your life and adjust your values and your expectations accordingly. Let me know if there's anything else that you guys want to hear about.